Good morning. Bo, please read the problem, and Billy, please translate. Flippin' physics. Two equal mass eggs are placed at either end in an egg carton of negligible mass. Stop. Well, uh, both eggs have the same mass, so mass 1 equals mass 2, which equals m. The mass of the egg carton is so small it is negligible, so we do not need to do anything with that. Uh, Bo? The egg carton is initially rotated about its middle... If the egg carton is now rotated about one end, what is the final moment of inertia of the eggs relative to their initial moment of inertia? Final moment of inertia equals question mark times initial moment of inertia. Bobby, what will our moment of inertia equation be equal to? Moment of inertia equals the sum of the quantity mass times the square of the distance of each object from the axis of rotation, with one of each of those for each object. Uh, there are two objects, so moment of inertia equals mass 1 times square of distance 1 from axis of rotation, plus mass 2 times square of distance 2 from axis of rotation. Initially, the axis of rotation is directly in the middle of the egg carton. Billy, if we define the distance from the center of mass of the egg to the axis of rotation initially as r, please determine the initial moment of inertia of the system. Okay, the initial moment of inertia equals mass 1 times the square of the initial distance of 1 from the axis of rotation, plus mass 2 times the square of the initial distance of 2 from the axis of rotation. We can replace both masses with m, and both distances from the axis of rotation with r, and we get mr squared plus mr squared, or 2 times mr squared. Bo, oh, now the axis of rotation is about one end of the egg carton. Please determine the final moment of inertia in terms of the initial moment of inertia of the system. So now one of the eggs is near the axis of rotation, so... Its R value is roughly zero, so R1 is almost zero. The other egg is two times R from the axis of rotation, so R2 equals 2R. The final moment of inertia then equals mass times zero squared, plus mass times the quantity 2R squared, which equals 4MR squared. And the initial moment of inertia equals 2mr squared, which we can substitute into the final moment of inertia equation. To get the final moment of inertia equals 2 times the initial moment of inertia. Yeah. That is all correct. But Mr. P? Yes, Bob? If the axis of rotation is at the end of the egg carton, then the center of mass of the first egg is near the axis of rotation, not at the axis of rotation, so the R value for the first egg is not actually zero. It may be close to zero, but it's not actually zero. Sure, Bo, that is a valid point. I, I guess I meant this problem more as a rough approximation. In other words, by changing the location where we rotate this specific object from, from the middle to the end, we have roughly doubled the moment of inertia or rotational mass. It is now twice as difficult to... Roughly twice as difficult. Yes. Roughly twice as difficult to angularly accelerate the two eggs in the egg carton. This idea that we can change the moment of inertia of an object or system by changing only the axis of rotation is often overlooked by students. Please be careful to recognize the importance of knowing and identifying where the axis of rotation is. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.